Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll compare Figma pricing according to the features. We'll take a look at the differences. And in the end of the video, you'll know exactly which platform, which plan is the most suitable as for you. So they offer four plans, starter, professional, organization, and enterprise. And of course, as you know, you can start to use Figma for free. So we have like Figma editor with all the features, three collaborative design files, unlimited personal drafts, and basic file inspection so it's pretty cool you can try to use it if it's necessary then you can upgrade um, by the way professional plan is a free for students and educators so you can try to open this link and then just simply find how to get it you just simply need to get verified so after that uh, you just simply need to understand that you'll get everything which is in starter but also according to design you'll get the unlimited figma files team libraries and advanced prototyping. Also get the dev mod, advanced code gen and annotations and status. For the basic admin, you'll get unlimited version history, shared and private projects. So if you are working in a team, you can just simply use this thing to get the unlimited Figma files and like team libraries. It's really important. Uh, on the professional or the organization plan, we have everything which is in professional, but also we got org-wide libraries, design system analytics, and branching and merging. Uh, on the dev mod, private plugins, code connect beta, and centralized admin, like centralized file management, on uh, unified admin and billing, and single sign on. On the last plan on enterprise, like $75 per month, uh, we can get like uh, advanced uh, theming with 40 mods, REST API for variables, design system default by workspace, uh, syncing workplace via REST API, dedicated workspaces, guest access controls, role sitting via CSIM, idle session, a timeout, and advanced link sharing controls. So definitely, as for me, if you decided to upgrade, the most suitable as for you is a professional. If you're working in an organization, then you can try to use it like organization plan. And then if you like a huge team, you can use the enterprise. But as for me, professional is good enough to start with. So yeah, I hope this video helped you out. Leave a like, subscribe. Goodbye.